the South American cactus moth has been introduced into the United States and now ranges along the coast from South Carolina to Louisiana. It remains a threat to prickly pear cactus and the desert ecosystem of the southwestern United States and Mexico. In a previous video, we demonstrated the dissection and slide mounting of the male genitalia for making identifications of the cactus moth. Here, we demonstrate the dissection of the female, which has some modifications in the method from that used for the male. In our previous video of the male, we discussed the tools, supplies, and reagents needed for making dissections and slide mounts. We also demonstrated the method for removing the abdomen for placing to a vial of potassium hydroxide for softening overnight. After the female abdomen is removed from potassium hydroxide, it is transferred to 20% ethanol for initial cleaning. We tamp and brush the abdomen from the posterior end to the open anterior end to remove the inner contents. We brush the abdomen to further remove many of the scales. After most of the scales are removed, the abdomen and genitalia are transferred to eosin stain where they remain for three to four hours. After staining, the abdomen is transferred to 70% ethanol where it is further cleaned. The abdomen is brushed from side to side to minimize tearing of the intersegmental membranes. After the abdomen is cleaned, two pairs of forceps are used to separate the ventral sternites from the dorsal tergites. Beginning at the open end of the abdomen, the ventral and dorsal sides are gently torn apart all the way to the last abdominal segment, just before the oviposter. At that point, between the seventh and eighth segments, the intersegmental membrane is torn across the sternum and then later torn across the dorsal. After the intersegmental membrane is torn, the genitalia can be removed. The digestive tract and other extraneous material can now be easily removed, taking care not to damage the globular corpus bursa and the connecting ductus bursa. The abdomen and genitalia can be dipped into chlorosol black for a few seconds to stain the membranes. Then the genitalia is washed in 70% ethanol to remove the excess stain. The abdomen and genitalia are given a final cleaning before being placed under glass chips in 100% ethanol for positioning the parts and hardening. The slide is made with the same method used for the male dissections and labeled accordingly. Here we can see the structures of the female genitalia, including the papillae annales or oviposter pads, the apophyses for muscle connections, the osteum or opening for insemination, which leads into the ductus bursa, and the corpus bursa, where the spermatophore is stored after mating. Whether or not the female has mated can be determined by presence of the remains of the spermatophores in the corpus bursa. The form of the sclerotized signum can be used to differentiate some species. Here we can see the female genitalia of Cactoblastus on the left and the native Melotera prodinialis on the right. Species of Melotera either lack a signum or have a very small reduced signum compared to the one in Cactoblastus.